and you want the free, fast, and cheap and easy way to clean out the carburetor. Well, here's the cheater way. All right, first thing, pull the fuel line off of the carburetor, and I like to pull the drain tube off the bottom of the carburetor too. Pull the drain screw on the bottom of the carburetor to let the old fuel out, and then close it back up. Take your carburetor cleaner. Now, B12 Berryman's Chem Tool, that's the one to use. It works better than the others. Link in the description below if you need some. And spray it right down the fill tube. You wanna fill it up slowly till it comes out the bottom drain. Remember from my carburetor video before? That's a drain and an overflow. Why is it always spit back in my eyes? This stuff always spits back right in your eye. I need to be more prepared. Okay, now I'm ready for shooting carburetor cleaner. Ain't gonna get me. Or COVID. <laughs> All right, next you're gonna wanna pull the intake tube off so you can see down the intake of the carburetor. Now that we got the air box off, if you remember from the carburetor video, we had the intake tubes that go straight into the jets. We're going to want to squirt straight down those holes into the jets. Let's see if we can clean out those tubes. You don't need to spray a whole bunch of carburetor cleaner down the throat of the carburetor, it's directly into the engine. You don't need to do that, it's not usually where it's dirty. Then you pull the air screw on the side of the carburetor, or the fuel screw on some of them, and you want to turn that in and count how many turns. Half, one, one and a quarter, and then turn it out and pull it all the way out. Now some of these have O-rings and you definitely want to get the O-ring out with a pick tool if you have to. Then you spray a little bit of carburetor cleaner straight in that hole if you can, not very much. You know, splash back on you, get your face shield. All right, let that sit for at least 10 minutes, maybe more if it's real bad. After that, put your air screw or fuel screw back in, counting out the correct number of turns that it was. Put your air box back on, and I'll drain out the bottom of the carburetor to let all the carburetor cleaner that's sitting inside of it out. No smoking. This stuff's flammable. Then put the fuel tank back on it, put the fuel lines back on it, and fire it up, see if it runs. Again, this is only gonna take care of minor problems. If you got a carburetor that's bad, it's gotta come on off of there, clean it all apart, get new O-rings and gaskets, and do it the right way. But hey, it's worth a try, right? Come on, come on! Yeah! <laughs>